In our lesson yesterday, we learned about the different principles of composition that a set designer needs to understand when creating a compelling design. In addition to thinking as an artistic designer, set designers also have to think like architects and consider the spaces they are creating for their sets. In order to do this, you have to understand the different types of theatrical stages and the areas and equipment that are in them. Every performance space has two main areas, the area where the performance happens and the area where the audience sits. What do you think we call the area of the space where the audience sits? Those are some great guesses. The audience seating area is actually called the house. Think of it as the place that the audience lives while watching the performance, just like you might live in your house. Now, what do we call the area where the performance happens? That's right, the stage. The house and stage configuration will vary depending on the type of theater you're in. So let's look at the different types of theaters. A proscenium theater is the most common type of theater, and one most people tend to visualize when they think of going to see a play. The audience sits on one side of the stage, all viewing the performance from basically the same place. The stage is surrounded by an opening that looks kind of like the frame of a picture. This frame is called the proscenium arch. A thrust style of theater is similar to proscenium theater in that it usually has an opening with a frame around it. However, now we've taken the stage floor and pushed it out, sort of thrust it out toward the audience. The audience will sit on three sides of the stage, making for various viewing spaces. Since we started with audience on one side and now have audience on three sides, where do you think the audience will sit in the next type of theater? If you guess on all four sides, you are right. The next style of theater is the arena or in the round theater. In this space, the house surrounds the stage on all four sides. Do you think it would be hard to act in a space like this? How would you make sure all of the audience members can understand you when some of them won't be able to see your face? 